Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the Florida native plant Lignum vitae, also known as Guaycum sanctum. And I'm actually very fortunate to have two of these trees within my own yard, one of them you are seeing above. Uh, this plant belongs to the family uh, Zygophylaceae, the Caltrop family. And this word, Zygophylaceae, can be broken down up into zygo, meaning joining and pairing, and phil, meaning leaf. And this is because of its uh, distinguishing characteristic the uh, oppositely arranged pinately compound leaves, as seen in Lignum vitae. Now members of this family are often shrubs or small plants um, that are adapted to desert climates. However, Lignum vitae is a tree. Another characteristic is the uh, resinous wood of this tree, which is due to the uh, high abundance of natural oils. Uh, another distinguishing characteristic is its flower which is defined by five petals, five sepals, and about five to uh, 15 stamens coming out of that. Its carpal is uh, joined and actually has around five, um, five chambers within that, with about two or more seeds within each chamber. So Lignum vitae is uh, found in USDA zones 10B to 11. In uh, the United States, it's found primarily in South Florida, very South Florida, around the key section. Is found natively within again the Keys, um, Central America, and the Caribbean islands. Its native habitat is dry coastal hammocks, um, which again is why it can be found in the Keys. So a description of the plant. Uh, its architecture basically it's around 10 to 12 feet. It has been observed to be uh, 30 feet in the wild, but this is such a slow growing tree that it's usually only seen within that 10 to 12 range. It has spread, spread about 8 to 12 feet. And its crown is pretty symmetrical, it's round, and has a really nice shape to it overall. It can often be seen as multi-trunk, but the ones behind me have actually been formed into a standard. Just one trunk branching out. So the leaf arrangement, as I said, is opposite. It is evenly compound with about three to five leaflets per leaf. On those leaflets, the, uh, the margin is a tire. The shape is uh, elliptic to obovate and the venation is about pinnate. Uh, these uh, leaves are evergreen and they don't disappear in the fall. So the flowers of Lignum vitae have a blue purplish color. They have about 10 stamens on them and again they have the five petals and five sepals characteristic to the family. To me they look a lot like rose flowers. They are abundant in spring but they can be found year round. So the fruits are fleshy five winged dehiscent capsule that is a bright uh, yellow color. And coming from that capsule are about five seeds um, that are coated in a bright red membrane. Uh, the fruit does not actually attract wildlife, but they are very showy and it makes a great pairing with those purple flowers. So again, at one point in a year, you'll have these bright yellow capsules with these bright red fruits with these really nice purple flowers. Um, the fruit are most abundant in summer, but they can be found year round. So what are the uses of this tree? Since it is so slow growing, it can be used as a container plant, uh, especially on a patio. It's actually a really nice accent tree. Within my own yard is between two, uh, the doorway to the entrance of the property and really make really accent with that space. Uh, they can also be used in parking lot islands and in sidewalk cutouts. But again, they are very slow growing. So for them to get any decent size, it does take a very long time compared to other trees. So the culture of Lignum vitae, they enjoy full sun to partial shade, they are tolerant of many kinds of soil, even from acidic to alkaline, although they do enjoy well-drained soils typically. They are very tolerant of salt and they are very tolerant of drought, again that relates back to their dry hammock environments where they grow up in. They are also very tolerant of wind, mainly due to the uh, high risk of hurricanes in the areas they are native to. So the name Lignum vitae actually means wood of life. And its alternate common name, Palo Santo, also means holy wood. Its scientific name, Guayacum sanctum, comes from the word gua South American word guayac, which is the resin extracted from the tree, and sanctum meaning holy. So the reason this plant has gained this name is because its resin has been used uh, to cure a variety of ailments, including arthritis, gout, and rheumatism. Uh, its bark is also steeped and used as an aphrodisiac mainly in the Bahamas. So this tree is on the endangered list and this is because its wood is one of the densest in the world. 
Actually, when it's placed in water, it sinks instead of floats. The wood was once used to manufacture bowling balls and propeller shafts um, and wood ships. It is no longer used for this because of its endangered status. One of the reasons it was used for propeller shafts is because it, this wood is so concentrated in resin that it's considered self-lubricating. So no lubrication is needed to actually keep that machine part running. So although this is a very beautiful landscaping plant, it's not available widely in native nurseries, mainly because of its slow growing pattern. However, if you come across a tree, it can be propagated by seed, and I highly encourage you to do so, because again, it is such a beautiful plant. And although it takes a long time to grow, I think it's well worth it. Now, if you can't find Guaycum sanctum, its sister species, Guaycum officinale, is also a good uh, plant to be used in its place. They are very similar in architecture and growth. They are both slow growing. However, on Guaycum officinale, the flowers fade to a white over time. This tree uh, grows between 10 to 30 feet, but again, within the uh, landscape setting, it can only get, it's only ever observed from the 12 to 15 range. So anyways, that's my presentation on Guaycum Sanctum, also known as Lignum Vitae, and I thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it.